Hi friends, I am making this video today for all of you who might be struggling with comparing fractions. I know that my third graders are definitely struggling with it, but I've noticed that in the classroom, being able to see and visualize those fractions and comparing them with fraction strips has something that has been so helpful, but I know that when you go home, that's not always an option. So I'm going to show you this website. And it is called, right up here, you can see it says toytheater.com slash fraction strips. And this is where you can come and you can work with fraction strips on a computer at home for those of you that it might help. So let me show you a little bit about how you might use it. So let's say you're working on your homework and you get the problem to compare one half and one fourth. You can drag your one half up here in your first box, and you can drag your one fourth down here in the second box, and then you can see that one half is greater than one fourth. But then let's say you wanted to see what how many fourths it took to make a half. You could just drag another fourth up here until you see that they're equal. So this website gives you a lot of different options about how you might be comparing. And then we have this big one down here. This is all whole. You can put your one whole up here. And then let's say the question is how many tenths go into one whole? You can just come down here and you can just drag your tenths until you get all the way to one. I really think that this website is something that will help visualize fractions and it's super easy to use. You just drag whatever fraction you need down here up into your boxes and then you're good to go. So this website may not be for everyone, but that's okay. It's just here to help anyone who might need a little extra help with their fractions because I know how difficult they can be. And we have, let me show you all of them. We have one whole, we have one half, we have a third, we have a fourth. I'm gonna put this one up here. We got a fifth, we've got a sixth, we've got an eighth, we've got a tenth, and we've got a 12th. So those are all of our options, and I think it is awesome. And if you look off to the side right here, we have a fraction circle. So if circles are more for you than strips, you can go ahead and you can click right on that. And then once again, we have all of our fractions down here. We have our one half, we can just drop that in there. And we can do the same thing with our fourths here. And that's that. And then we have our one hole, which takes up the whole circle. And this might be better if you like circles. Or once again, if you try the circles and it's just not really working for you, you can go right back over to here other side and click fraction strips once again. I really, really, really hope that for those of you that might be struggling comparing fractions, this is a really great resource for you. And once again, that website is called toytheater.com slash fraction dash strips. Or you could always just search on whatever search engine you use for virtual um, interactive fraction strips, and you'll have lots of different websites that you'll have the option of using. So I really hope that this helps you.